what is good friends and welcome back yes the exclusive lounge is now open and i've been waiting for this moment since a week now because i think i should be able to awaken this officer in this round so i'm gonna first of all i will trade my regular drinks for some exclusive drinks if you are a free to play you can convert up to 120 regular drinks into 40 exclusive drinks it will take a moment until you awaken an exclusive officer as a free to play but it's still doable despite um, not despite but if you compare to let's say guardian of truth where you absolutely have to spend money this one or any exclusive officer you have a chance to awaken him you just have to be patient now and on top of it you have some rewards progress rewards so the more you uh, drinks exclusive cocktails you will receive or you will claim additional rounds or free drinks i choose the bullets as the the extra goodie so I can level up my unit a bit faster so if I did this correctly I may not have to get all those packs only a few will be enough well few yeah only a few <laughs> will be enough to claim or gather enough exclusive drinks so i'm gonna do this as i'm speaking and you get quite a lot of your goodies i know a few players in hbr will also claim this officers all those powerful players let's drink all those cocktails 128 premium drinks so that gets me 74 statues i should be able to upgrade this guy one skill to level five i will pick this one there we go so i have 11 leftover drinks i need to get more packs so let's do this not before let me get my free drinks it's a two-step process friends so if you wish to awaken any exclusive officer you cannot do it in one run you have to do it in two events minimum i mean if you can do it in three or four that's, that's also good but you cannot awaken an officer from zero to hero in one shot make sure you plan ahead you purchase enough packs at the first round so you don't get disappointed at the second one so 133 drinks how many statues will i get 111 so okay I have a few free drinks. 15 statues right there. 15 more drinks. 20 more statues. All right. I can upgrade this skill to four. Now this final skill needs to be upgraded to level five so I can awaken him. So I may have to buy two more packs. That should be enough.
with my last free round, this should be just enough to awaken it. Let's find out. So let's drink all those cocktails. 105. 81 statues, okay. Not quite enough to upgrade him, but I have 23 drinks, so that should be barely enough. All right. There you go. He is fully awakened. His picture is going to change. Man, oh man. I'm excited. Finally. Woo. Before we see him in action, let's review real quick his skills. His first skill, the tactical one. The tactical skill is the one um, that refresh or revolves every 8 seconds when you are in combat. So every 8 seconds, this officer will deal a damage coefficient of 1800. If your HP is above 70%, add another 450 of skill damage in total 2250 damage coefficient every eight seconds that's pretty good that's actually very good is first passive skill antibiotics whenever you get attacked not you who attack when the enemy fire back at you so this doesn't apply when let's say you attack a structure all right so you need to be attacked Every time you are under you are under attack, this officer has a 20% chance to recover 250 of healing coefficient. Alright? Not quite as good as Spanner, which he is a, a leader, uh, a benchmark in this uh, as, as a healing officer, but still better than nothing. And, and this is while in combat. It's not a passive healing or when you are at rest. If you want to recover at rest, you may have to switch for, let's say, Bloody Mary or Winter Huntsman to get that healing so you can be back in action. The second passive skill, Steady Nerves. Increase the firepower and HP by 20%, which is good. It's Most of the time, it's either one. But now you have both. His last passive skill, Adrenaline, increases the skill damage of all officers in this officer's troop by 30%. Not only Professor Payne will get a buff of 30% skill damage, but the other officer, like the aide, will also get a 30% of skill damage. <laughs> Which is crazy. And when you fully awaken, Forlorn Hope, while in combat, increases the damage of this officer's tank and helicopters by 25%. That's awesome. But reduces the damage resist by 10%. So you get a little handicap there. All right. So now that we are done with this, I'm going to switch to the in-game footage so you will notice how strong he is. Okay. Stand by.
so he's pretty strong. As you can see, the game footage, he deal with the enemy with ease. And for your information, if you want to know more about my tank, it's not even maxed. I still have quite a few prototype, not prototype, but I need 10, 20, 30, and 40 uh, refined components still to fully max to reach that level uh, or that yeah level 47 or 47 million in power in game um, of, of unit power i'm nowhere near that i'm pretty good but still have a it, it's a long journey to reach that level in terms of parts everything is gold plus plus of course fully modified fully upgraded what else? Oh, in terms of parts, I only have 89 um, wrenches, so it's not, it's on the upper tier, but it's not quite the best of the best. So that officer helps a lot, and depending if you are buffed or not, with everything else um, taken into consideration, as you can see, in-game, he's pretty strong. I mean, uh, unless I have to deal with a whale, uh, I may have no chance or very few chance, but for 90% of uh, every other units out there, I can hold my own. So that's it, guys. I hope you like the video. Stay tuned for more content. I still have plenty, I mean, hours of game footage to edit and clean, and I want to share them with you So uh, for your enjoyment. Until then, guys, stay tuned. Um, and I'll catch you on the next video.